and we are going to talk about the attack on Mari Mari Emanuel, a Christian bishop in Australia. We are going to talk about Iran's attack on Israel and we are going to talk about Al Shifa Hospital's second raid. Uh, the bishop was attacked in his church while he was giving his sermon and he was stabbed by a 16 year old. Thank God he survived. The church goers who were shocked by the incident immediately restrained the boy. Mari Mari Emanuel, a pro Palestinian voice who in his latest sermon discussed about the starving Gaza people. When he visited Gaza, he said that he met hungry, starving Palestinians living in broken buildings in a basically dead land. Now, now the mainstream media has immediately pushed the anti-Islam narrative that radical Islam drives this. But the Quran says that if you kill one life unjustly, it's as if you killed whole of humanity. Now these kinds of voices are being attacked by Muslim groups like ISIS and these kinds of criminals who already have a history of violence. These kinds of attacks have ramped up and they are mostly harming Muslims and Christians, especially Muslims given that they destroy the reputation of Islam and Muslims. They seem to be backed by Zionists. On social media, you will see footages of rabbis painting swastika outside of their synagogues, as well as Jews portraying themselves as Muslims, shouting Allah Akbar and all of that. The boy has a history of violence and his violence against this bishop is completely un-Islamic and condemnable. On to Al Shifa Hospital, the hospital was raided a second time and this time when the IDF left it was a horror show. Mass graves were found surrounding the hospital, the hospital itself destroyed with the bodies bulldozed and squashed by the IDF tanks decaying. The largest medical complex destroyed making the place uninhabitable. They destroyed the largest medical complex in Gaza because they don't want Palestinians to go back home. Gaza Strip is now flattened and Netanyahu in his meeting with his uh, terrorist cabinet has revealed his true plans of building settlements in Gaza from the $5 billion Rishi Sunak gave to him in a generous donation. Now to Iran's attack on Israel. Israel has been bombing Muslim countries surrounding it for a while now with no response from the Muslim countries making them look neutered and castrated which they frankly are. Recently they attacked an Iranian consulate in Syria leading to Iran retaining the favor. The missiles that Iran shot were intercepted by Jordan, UK and the US. Now this tells you who the big daddy really is in the region. Now after this attack Israel's response is still pending. Many people are speculating that this war on children will eventually lead to a World War III or perhaps to a larger regional war which Israel is wanting to establish the greater Israel and to protect itself. But only God knows what's going to happen and all we can do for now is pray. Subscribe and watch this next video for more content.